just want to understand how it happened. That makes two of us. <laughs> how long after my visit did you feel the change? It wasn't anything you did. It was someone else. Some one else? He called me Mary. He said, I am his. I am redeemed. And it was so? Who did this? I don't know his name. And even if I did, I could not tell you. Why not? His time for men to know has not yet come. His time for men? <laughs> he performs miracles and seeks no credit? Well, what does he look like? Is he a member of Sanhedrin? Would you at least know him if you saw him again? <laughs> I don't know why I am sharing this with you. I. I don't understand it myself. But here is what I can tell you. I was one way. And now I am completely different. And the thing that happened in between was him. So yes, I will know him for the rest of my life. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. I'm Rick DeSanctis. I've been kind of out of commission for a while. Got the vid, the big V-I-D. I didn't just get COVID, I got COVID pneumonia. It wiped me out, it wrecked me. Um, that's irrelevant, we'll save that for another video. Um, the clip that you just watched is from a new miniseries called The Chosen. It is a series about Jesus, his apostles, his disciples, and the miracles that he's done. Well, about a year ago this came out a friend of mine told me to watch it and I'm like I, I just couldn't do it I, I, my mind my eyes my heart it wasn't ready at the time anyways this year I'll say it was about Easter I decided to watch it and then something struck me so the clip that you just saw was Mary Magdalene she had just had her conversion pretty powerful what I want to do today is I want you to share this with the entire world now the guy who created the series, his name is Dallas, he made these, uh, I think it's a, a year, uh, one season, and they just started the second season and there's three episodes out. The entire thing's been funded by people like you and I. There's no corporate media involved and it's done really, really well. So there are points in your life where you have reconversions and you see things differently. I can honestly say that The Chosen is one of those things. It has affected me in a very powerful way, and I really need you to watch it. Now, get this. Here's the deal. When you watch the first episode, it's very, very slow, and it's painful until Jesus comes on the scene. Second, uh, the second episode gets better, third gets better, and there are moments where you just can't help but fall in love with Jesus. And why I'm talking like you fall in love with Jesus is because we get caught up on church, we get caught up on the legalities of everything, and legalities are important, don't get me wrong. Doing the right thing is important. Obedience is important. But the love that I've witnessed through visually seeing Jesus and visually seeing these characters has epically changed my heart. And I need you to watch it and I need you to share it. Please like and subscribe our videos as well. Um, and to support that guy Dallas. Support what he's doing because he's far from being over. So the next scene that you're going to see, I've read the Bible hundreds of times, maybe thousands of times. And I've heard the name Nicodemus hundreds of thousands of times. And I've seen John 3.16 at stadiums. John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he, he gave us his only begotten son so that we'd all be saved. I'm saying it probably not properly. But John 3.16. Seen it a million times. What you're about to watch is the scene from John 3.16. In three dimension. As he speaks to Nicodemus. It's the most powerful scene I, I can't even explain it just watch it anyways I'm excited to be back um, I need you to share this video I need you to like the video I need you to subscribe and I need you to share 
his videos and I need you to download their app it's called the chosen watch everything that he's done so far I don't care what denomination you are I do not care Catholic Episcopalian born again Lutheran no denomination watch the chosen it is life-changing um, if you get COVID, I'm praying for you if you're all alone I'm praying for you that's the big thing you learn about COVID you're alone and uh, my heart's changed from watching this, that's all I can say. God bless, stay tuned, watch this scene with Jesus and Nicodemus. Off the hook, love you all, God bless. Don't know where to start, I have so many questions. Shall we sit first? Oh, yes, of course. Eastern slums. Mm. Many wandering preachers have succeeded in gathering crowds with their rhetoric and fiery tone. I've heard a few of them over the years myself. So you know the type. Mm. But I have never heard anyone tell a paralytic to get up and walk, much less it actually happened. So what is your conclusion? I believe you are not acting alone. No one can do these signs you do without having God in him. Only someone who has come from God. And how is that belief going over in the synagogue? <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we are here at this hour. What else? What have you come here to show us? A kingdom. That is what our rulers are worried about. No, not that kind. Then what? A sort of kingdom that a person cannot see unless he is born again. Born again? Yes. You mean like a new creature? A conversion from Gentile to Jewish? No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Then what is born again? <sighs> I hope you don't mean return to the womb, because that would be a problem for me. My mother, may she rest in peace, is dead. Truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit that part of you that is what must be reborn to new life how can these things be ah a teacher of israel and yet you do not understand these things huh? i'm trying rabbi i know i know Do you hear this? What? Listen. What do you hear? The wind. How do you know it's the wind? Because I can feel it. And I hear it sound. Do you know where it comes from? No. Do you know where it's going? No. That's what it is to be born again of the Spirit. The Spirit may work in a way that is a mystery to you. And while you cannot see the Spirit, you can recognize His effect. Mind is consumed with thoughts of what a stir these words would cause among the teachers of the law. Yes, and I do not expect otherwise. I speak of what I know and have seen, and it has not been received by the religious leaders. It is hard to receive. So if I have told you of earthly things, and you do not believe. How can I tell you heavenly things? I believe your words. I just fear you may not have a chance to speak many more of them before you are silenced. I have come to do more than speak words, Nicodemus. More miracles? Yes. But even more than that. Do you remember when the children of Israel complained against God and against Moses in the wilderness of Paran? Yes. They wanted to return to Egypt, and they cursed the manna that God sent them. And then? 
they were bitten by serpents and they were dying but but god made a way for them to be healed moses lifted the bronze serpent in the desert and people only needed to look at it so will the son of man be lifted up so that whoever believes in him may have eternal life our people are not dying from snake bites they're dying from taxation and oppression i'm sorry to disappoint you but i did not come to deliver the people from rome and from what from sin from spiritual death god loves the world in this way that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life so this has nothing to do with Rome. It's all about sin. God did not send his son into the world to condemn it, Nicodemus. He sent him to save it through him. It's as simple as Moses' serpent on the pole. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already. Have you ever heard anything like this before? Shh. When I met Lilith, Mary, that day, I told my wife and my students I said, she was beyond human aid. Only God could have healed her. And then I saw her healed. And here you are. I, my whole life, I have wondered if I would see this day. Follow me, and you'll see more. Follow you? Join me and my students. In two days' time, we leave Capernaum. Come see the kingdom I am bringing into this world. But I... I, I can't. You have a position in the Sanhedrin. You have family. You are getting advanced in years. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. But the invitation is still open. The invitation to what exactly? <laughs> to lead a nomadic life? To... Give up who I am. It's true. There is a lot you would give up. But what you would gain is far greater and more lasting. Is this another one of your born again mysteries? <laughs> uh, maybe. I know mysteries aren't easy for a scholar. Think about it. Hmm? Take your time. On the morning of the fifth day, we leave and we'll meet by the well in the southern quarter. I am standing on holy ground. <laughs> holy roof. <laughs> I do hope you come with us, Nicodemus. Blessed are. 